In the name of him, the most compassionate, the most merciful. This is general English language course. It's from the book Interactions 1, Chapter 8. My name is Abdul Rashid Khazai. Um, I'm an assistant professor in applied linguistics from Zahedan University of Medical Sciences and also Virtual University of Medical Sciences, Iran. Chapter 8, Entertainment and the Media. This chapter discusses the effects of television and video on viewers around the world. It also discusses the effect of visual media on the traditional family. The chapter also discusses the effects of visual media on moral values. Also, the addiction to visual media is discussed here. And the effects of visual media on health will be discussed in this chapter. Please go to page 159. There are some photos on page 159. Look at the pictures on the page and try to answer the questions on the page. There are three questions on this page. Question number one says, how do you think watching television can be helpful? How can it be harmful? Question number two, do you think watching television can influence the way people act and feel? If so, how? And question number three, what are some popular TV shows? Why do you think they are popular? And what type of show do you think is being filmed in the photo below? So try to answer these questions. Some of the possible answers to the questions are presented here. For example, for question number one, which says, how do you think watching television can be helpful? For example, you can say it can teach you it can entertain you, so it is helpful. How can it be harmful? It can harm your health. It may addict you. So these are some possible answers to the questions on page 159. You will try to give your own answers to the questions on the page. Part 1, Reading Skills and Strategies, on page 160. How the visual media affect people? This is the title of the reading on this page. You see there are some photos on page 160. Look at the photos on page 160 and read the questions and discuss them in small groups. Discuss the questions with friends. And try to answer the question on the page. If you don't know the answer to the questions, Try to make predictions. Try to guess the answers. And then you can look for the answers when you read the passage. Prediction can help you to be a very active reader. Predicting makes the reader active through, the reading, a to, through reading a text. When you actively predict while reading, you stay connected to the text and can think, rethink, refine and revise your predictions. So please try to make predictions about the answers to the questions on page 160. Discuss your answers with your friends and then go to the passage and try to find out whether your predictions are correct or are not correct. Page 161. Previewing vocabulary. You see a list of vocabulary on page 161. Let's read the words here. There are three columns of words. Nouns, verbs, adjectives. Nouns. Addiction, behavior, disadvantages, hospitals, images, personalities, programming, reality, stars, tension, viewers, violence, Visual media, verbs, concentrate, envy, focus, improve, practice, reduce, replace, scares, shout. Adjectives, addicted, oral, average, boring, dissatisfied, elderly, 
envious, exciting, immoral, nothing, and unlimited. Now, please put a check mark next to the words you know. And the words you don't know, you can learn them now or you can come back to, the, to them after you read. Okay, the meaning of some of the unknown words are presented here. The first word here is the word addiction. Addiction is a noun. Addiction is the fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance or activity. Addicted means dependent to a particular substance or to a particular activity. For example, he committed the offense to finance his drug addiction. Next word. Viewer. Viewer is a noun. Viewer is a person who watches television or a film. Viewer means watcher. Example. Our presenters are role models for young viewers. Next word. Disadvantage. Disadvantage is a noun. Disadvantage means an unfavorable circumstance or condition that reduces the chances of success or effectiveness. For example, she had the disadvantage of growing up in a poor community. Next word is tension. Tension is a noun too. Tension means mental or emotional strain. For example, a mind which is affected by stress or tension cannot think as clearly. The first word on this page is the word violence. Violence is a noun. The adjective is violent. Violence is the behavior which involves physical force intended to hurt, to damage, or to kill someone or something. For example, violence erupted in protest marches. Personality. Personality is a noun. The adjective is personal. Personal, adjective. Personality, noun. Personality is the set of emotional qualities, ways of behaving, etc. that makes a person different from other people. For example, we all have different personalities. Program. Program is a verb. It's the planning, scheduling or performing of a program. For example, the news conference interrupted regular television programming. Media. Media is the plural form of the word medium. Medium is singular. Media is the plural form. Media is the main means of mass communication, broadcasting, publishing, and the internet regarded collectively. For example, the demands were publicized by the media. The first word on this page is the word concentrate. Concentrate is a verb. The noun is concentration. The adjective concentrated. Concentrate means to focus all one's attention on a particular object or activity. It means to focus all your attention on a particular object or on a particular activity. For example, she couldn't concentrate on the film. Next word is the word envy. Envy is a verb. The adjective is envious. Envy means desire to have a quality, possession, or other desirable thing belonging to someone else. 
For example, he envied people who did not have to work at the weekends. Next word, focus on. Focus on. It's a verb. It means pay particular attention to. For example, the study will focus on a number of areas in Wales. Next word is replace. Replace is a verb. It means to take the place of something or someone. For example, Ian's smile was replaced by a frown. Scare. Scare is a verb. Adjective is scary. Scare means cause great fear or nervousness in or frighten. For example, I was scared stiff. Oral. Oral is an adjective. It means relating to the ear or the sense of hearing. Relating to the ear or relating to the sense of hearing. For example, information held in written oral or visual form. Next, dissatisfied. Dissatisfied is an adjective too. Dissatisfied means not satisfied, not content or happy with something. Not happy with something, not content with something. For example, his parents are dissatisfied with the quality of tuition on offer. Envious. Envious is an adjective. It's the feeling or showing envy. For example, I'm envious of their happiness. Immoral. It's an adjective. It means not conforming to accept the standards of morality. For example, unseemly and immoral behavior. Page 161. Read an article. Read the following article on page 161 to 163. Then read the explanations and do the activities that follow the reading passage. The title of this reading passage is How the Visual Media Affect People. Now, after proving, previewing the topic, predicting the answers to some of the questions you came across, and reviewing the new words, read the article on page 161 through page 163, and do the activities that follow. Important points. While reading the passage, try to connect the main title to subsections. Try to understand the message of each paragraph and also try to understand the message of each section. Also, you may take notes of the main points. You will also underline the unknown words you come across while reading. And finally, you might review the passage a couple of times to make sure that you've got the whole passage. So please now go to the reading passage and read it. Page 164, the after you read section. We have a strategy, reading strategy, recognizing reading structure using an outline. The strategy which is discussed here is using an outline. What is an outline? An outline shows the relationship of topics main ideas and supporting details or examples. The topic is usually the title of the outline. The main ideas and subtopics of the reading can appear after numbers like this, the Roman numbers. 
And then, in the next level, the supporting details or examples are written under the main ideas after capital letters like this, A, B, C, etc. And in the next level, sometimes the supporting details have even more details. Those can be written after numbers like 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Next part, part 5, is completing an outline. So before this, we discussed what an outline is, and now you are going to do some activities on an outline. On the next page, one page 165, you will have an incomplete outline on the reading how the visual media affect people. So you are expected to complete the outline, which is on the next page. But before completing the outline, which is on page 165, try to answer the following two questions. Question number one, what is the topic of the reading? You know that the topic of the reading is how the visual media affect people. This is the topic of the reading. And the topic of the reading is the title of the outline. Question number two. What are the two main subtopics about the topic? Now, please answer this question. Write the two main subtopics about the topic, about how the visual me media affect people. Page 165. Before completing the outline on page 165, there are some phrases here which have been taken from the reading passage. Read the phrases first. Increase people's knowledge and thinking ability. Benefit the elderly and the sick. Take too much time from family life and other activities. Reduce people's ability to concentrate, focus or reason. Scare people or get them used to violence. Provide language learners instruction and practice. Offer good entertainment during free time. Cause dissatisfaction in normal people's lives. Addict people to TV and video. So, please go back to the reading passage and write the related paragraph letter in the parentheses provided. For example, the first phrase says increase people's knowledge and thinking ability. This phrase is found in paragraph A. Or the third one, take too much time from family life and other activities. This phrase is found in paragraph B. Now you do the rest and write the paragraph letter in the parentheses provided. You see that some of these phrases are positive and some of them are negative. For example, the first one, increase people's knowledge and thinking ability. It seems to be positive. But look at the last one, addict people to TV and video. It doesn't seem to be something good, so it is negative. So read them and then you will complete the incomplete outline using these phrases. Now you're expected to complete the outline. It's about the effects of visual media. So effects of visual media, there are two main subtopics. One is the advantages and the other is the disadvantages of a visual media. So you will write the phrases in the previous slide in the blanks provided here. There are nine of them, four phrases for the advantages and five ones for the disadvantages. For example, increase people's knowledge and thinking ability. This is an advantage of visual media. Or take too much time from family life and other activities. This is an disadvantage. 
So please complete this outline and then compare your answers with your friends and discuss them if necessary. Next part, understanding the points and recognizing supporting details on page 165. After you find the main ideas, you are supposed to find and recognize the supporting details. When you find the supporting details and you can make connections between the supporting details and the main ideas, your understanding of the reading comprehension will improve. You will understand and comprehend the passage better. In order to do that, there are some activities that you, you must do. So please finish the possible main idea question about the material of the reading selection, how the visual media affect people. In the paragraphs that follow, change the underlined words so that the paragraphs accurately answer the question. So first, complete this question, the main idea question. This is, a, this is an incomplete question and you are expected to complete it. What are some positive and negative features of? So please complete that and then check your answers with your friends and discuss them to make sure that you have written it correctly. Now you'll go to page 166 and in relation to the question, to the main idea question in the previous page, you are supposed to modify the underlined parts in this paragraph so that it is accurately and correctly related to the main idea question. So you remember what the main idea question was? The question was that, what are some of the positive and negative features of, for example, visual media? And then you go to this uh, reading and read that and modify or change the underlined parts so that they can find a correct and accurate relationship with the question. For example, television and other visual media probably influence people's lives in positive but not negative ways. Here are examples of the possible benefits. So it says in positive but not negative, so you correct it in positive and negative ways. Here are examples of the possible benefits low quality programming in various fields so it will be for example high quality programming in various fields provides education value because it is a positive point but not a negative one so read the whole passage through the end and try to change or modify the underlined words so that the paragraph is connected accurately to the main idea question. Chapter 8, Part 2, page 167. Reading skills and strategies. Media stories. Previewing vocabulary. There is a list of vocabulary here. Please put a check mark next to the words you know and then you can learn the other words now or after you read. There are three columns of words, nouns, verbs, and adjectives. First read the words. If you note the words, please put a check mark next to each. Adulthood, adventure, bankruptcy, drama, investigator, murderer, passion, relationship, captured, inherited, investigate, recover, sinks, stabs, transport, bloody, computerized, decent, desperate, natural, Powerful, pregnant, run down, scary, shadowy, suspenseful, and wealthy. Now please 
check the words you know and the words you don't know you can learn them now or you can learn them after you read page 167 section 2 classifying stories and putting events in order most of the programs in the visual media include stories the stories that tell what happened most often in time order here is a list of the kinds of stories that most often appear in movies and TV series 10 types of stories number one adventure or action two crime or mystery three authentic history four serious drama five suspense or horror six science fiction or fantasy seven comedy eight animated cartoon nine musical and ten biography or people's personal experiences these are different kinds of stories which appear in movies and TV series so please try to learn them and memorize them because you'll need them in the later activities On pages 168 to 170, four story plots are provided. What is a plot? A plot is a short description of the actions or events of a real movie or a TV show. The plots are there for you to read and enjoy and answer the following questions and the activities which follow every plot. But before you read every plot, please skim the four following plots and decide what kind of a story each is. For example, you can decide that the story plot A, B, C, or D is a crime, is a musical, is an adventure, is a mystery, and so forth. And then, after you decide that which kind of story each of the plot is, you can write it under spaces provided. And before you read that, you can discuss it with your friends to make sure that you have, you have corrected, you have a correct answer. For example, let us do the first story plot A on page 168. How to scheme it? In order to scheme, let's read the first sentence of every paragraph. Paragraph, the first paragraph, the first sentence. It says, Marion, who works in a real estate office, is depressed about her, about her life, especially her unhappy love relationship. Now we go to the first sentence in the second paragraph. Second paragraph is line 20. Worried about her and the stolen money, Marion's sister, Lava, and Boss send out an investigator who finally, finally arrives at Bates Motel. Try to look over the reading and find some of the words which may help you to decide what kind of a story it is. You see the word relationship, then you can see the word scary and then the word bloody and the word shadowy so investigator bloody shadowy suspenseful now what kind of a story plot do you think it is is it a comedy no it cannot be a comedy is the science fiction no it cannot be a science fiction is it a mystery it seems to be a mystery or crime is the suspense or horror Yes, it seems to be a suspense or horror. So please do skim the other three plots and decide what type of story you think each one is. Next section after you read 
on page 171. Strategy Summarizing a story Summarizing is a technique that can help you to understand and comprehend reading passages better. What is summarizing? Uh, in order to know how to summarize, so you must know that a reading selection or paragraph that describes a plot is most often organized in time order, that is, one event follows another. So, to prepare to summarize a plot, you might number the main events in the reading material. So the first step is to number the main events in the reading material. Then, after an introduction to set the scene, you tell the most important things that happened. Here's an example of possible events numbering from the first story in media stories. For example, Marion, an employee in a real estate office, is depressed about her life, especially a her, her happy love relationship. Because she is feeling ill, this is number one. Because she is feeling ill, her supervisor lets her leave work early. He gives her $40,000 in cash from a house sale to put in the bank on her way home. Two, however, temptation gets the best of the moody young woman. With the cash in an envelope, she packs her bags and drives out of town. Then, three, on a dark lonely road, a severe thunderstorm forces her to stop at the rundown Bates Motel. There's a scary old house high on a hill behind the motel with the form of an old woman in a rocking chair at the window. Four, Norman Bates, the motor owner, is happy to sing to sign in a guest, but his mother shouts at him angrily. After a conversation with Norman, Marion goes to her room. You see, there are some events which are numbered here. Event number one, because she is feeling ill, her supervisor lets her leave work early. Number two, Temptation gets the best of the moody young woman. With a cash in an envelope, she packs her bags and drives out of town. Then, number three. On a dark lonely road, a severe thunderstorm forces her to stop at the rundown Bates Motel. Number four. Norman Bates, the motel owner, is happy to sign in a guest, but his mother shouts at him angrily. And the last event is number five after a conversation with norman marion goes to her room you see this is an example which is done for you you can do others to learn to summarize summarize a story so first you number the main events in the reading material similar to what what happened in this reading example Now on page 171, summarizing a story. Now you are expected to summarize some plot stories from the media stories on page 168 to 170. So please work in groups of three or even one. Choose a plot description from the selection media stories on pages 168 to 170. Read it carefully. Number the events like the example in the strategy box. Then write a summary of the story. After a short introduction, list the main events needed to understand the story in as few words as possible. Then tell or read your plot summary to your group. So this practice can help you to practically do summarizing and learn it step by step and it will help you to develop your reading comprehension ability and then on page 172 discussing the reading then in a small groups with your friends you can talk about the reading or then tell a 
friend about the most interesting ideas in the story. There could be some ideas and information in the story that you liked and enjoyed. And then you can tell your friends about that. When you do that, your mind will be active about reading and this activation will help you, will change you into, a, into an active reader and you understand and enjoy better. And then on page 172 to 173 is talking it over. So, in this talking it over, they, it asks you, what are your preferences? What are your preferences in entertainment? Read the choices for each category and then number your preferences from the most favorite, number one, to the least favorite, number six. So there are some media entertainment in pages 172 to page 173. The first is media and then you have television, pre-recorded videotapes, DVDs, feature films in theater, media on the internet, radio programs, other kinds of media. And then you have movies. For movies you have comedies or animated features, romance, action, or thrillers, and so forth. Then you have TV series. TV series, you have situation comedies, science fiction, crime or detective shows, law or hospital dramas, and so forth. And on the next page, page 173, you have other programming like news or current events, talk shows, quiz shows, educational programs, travel shows, and for music, we ha you have different kinds of music like classical music, jazz or blues, popular singers and groups, country music or dancing, international folk music, and so forth. And then you have other kinds of entertainment like live theater, stand-up comedy, and so on. So please read each of them and decide which one you like the most, which one is your most favorite, and which one is your least favorite. So number your preferences on pages 172 to 173 uh, next to each of those preferences. Number your preferences from most favorite number one. I mean the, mo the one which you like the most put number one. The one which you like the least put number six. And then order them from number one to number six. For example for music you can say I like classical music the first so it will be number one. Then you say, I like the country music the second, so it will be number two. I like popular singers and groups number three. So you will, you will uh, order them, number them from the most favorite to the least favorite. In this way, you can also both learn vocabulary and you can both activate your knowledge and you activate your, your, uh, 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 your understanding, you activate your uh, interest about the reading passage you're reading or you're going to read. Part 3 Vocabulary and Language Learning Skills Page 173 Chapter 8 The strategy introduced here is Getting Meaning from Context Getting the general meaning of new word or difficult words or phrases can help you understand the meanings of the sentences. You may then be able to understand the details and the relationship to the main ideas of the material. So there are some examples provided here for you. Look at the examples. Moreover, television helps elderly people who can't go out often, as well as patients in hospital, hospitals and residents of nursing facilities. So two vocabulary items are underlined here and then you are supposed to guess the meaning from the context television helps elderly people who can't go out often so elderly sick people old people people who need help busy people which one can be correct for example old people or people who need help which one 
Elderly people who can't go out often, as well as patients in hospitals and residents of nursing facilities. Nursing facilities is homes for doctors and nurses, B. Centers for public entertainment, C. Normal housing for average people, D. Places for older and very sick people. So from the context, we can easily guess that part D is the correct answer. Next one, high quality TV programming, a good plan of shows about various fields of study, can increase people's knowledge and improve their thinking abilities. So programming, scientific and medical shows, academic lecture courses, choices and organization of shows, movies with good music. So read this and decide which one is correct. So you can't, you see that context can help you to guess the meaning of the new words very easily. And then there are some examples for you provided on the, on page 174 and 175 you can read the passage and the text and the context and you are supposed to guess the meaning from the context. Uh, the context means the words around the underlying words and the ideas and information around the underlying words. So the ideas and information around the words and the sentences and words around it can help you to guess the meaning. This is a very wonderful exercise and activity for you to do. Page 176, Understanding Suffix says, What's a suffix? A suffix is a word ending that is added to a base or root word. Suffixes make parts of a speech. In other words, they can convert adjectives into verbs. For example, the adjective personal can be changed to the verb personalize by adding the suffix I-Z-E. Personal is an adjective. Personalize is a verb. Or they can change verbs into nouns. For example, communicate is a verb. Communication is a noun. Or they can change adjectives into adverbs. Rapid is an adverb, is an adjective. Rapidly is an adverb. So suffixes can change parts of a speech by adding the endings to the original word. Therefore, by learning limited number of suffixes, you can make numerous new words. So suffixes are very useful for you to learn new vocabularies. In this section, some of the suffixes are presented with their definitions and examples. First, noun suffixes. We have some examples of noun suffixes. The suffix er, or, and ist are suffixes which can make a noun. The definition is a person or thing that does something. For example, teacher, teach, teacher. So a teacher is someone who teaches. A teacher is someone who does teaching. For OR, we have actor. Act, actor. For, anat for IST, we have anatomist. Anatomy, anatomist. An anatomist is a person who does anatomy who studies anatomy, who knows anatomy, anatomist. This next noun making suffix is the suffix ship. Ship means having a position or skill. For example, citizenship, friendship, citizen, citizenship, friend, friendship. So both friend and friendship are noun. But Friendship means having a position, having the position of 
being a friend. Hood, a state or time of something. For example, childhood. Child is a noun. Childhood is a noun too. Childhood means the time of being ch a child. Widowhood means the state of being a widow. So hood is a suffix which makes a noun which shows a state or a time. The suffix ism, it means a belief or a way of doing something. For example, liberalism, liberal liberalism, Buddhism. And then you have some verb suffixes presented here on this slide. The first one is ate, like create, decorate. Many of the words ending in ate are verbs like active, activate. And then you have the suffix ify, like beautify, which make beautiful or become beautiful. Clarify means to make clear. And the next verb, verb making suffix is the suffix IZE, like realize, real, realize, energy, energize. And then you have the suffix EN, strengthen, widen, whiten, blacken. So strengthen means to make strong, widen means to make wide or to become wide. We have a list of adjective suffixes here, adjective making suffixes, al and ar, which means relating to something. For example, dental means related to teeth, financial, muscular, Then you have the suffix full, which is an adjective making suffix. Full means full of. Careful means full of care. Beautiful means full of beauty, beauty or having beauty. Less means without something, like careless means without care. Endless means without end. Homeless without a home. Wireless without a wire. And the suffix y also makes adjectives from nouns. It means full of or covered with something. For example, rainy, rain, rainy, anger, angry, mood, moody. And the next adjective making suffix is ing, means causing a feeling. For example, interesting means to cause interest, exhausting means to cause or make exhaust. And ED means having a feeling. Interested means to become interest. To have the feeling of interest. Exhausted. So it is a list of adjective making suffixes and you can learn them. You can find some of the examples in the reading passages you have read, you have read so far. Examples for each of these adjective, noun and adverb making suffixes. On pages 176 and 177, you have a list of words for practicing the suffixes or word endings. So you see a list of words. These words have been taken from the reading selections. On the line before each word, write N for nouns, V for verbs, and ADJ for adjectives. Also put a line under the suffix of the suffix of each word. For example, the first word, number one, chapter, it's a noun, and the suffix is ER. Or number 13, number 13, truthful, it's an adjective, and the suffix is fool. Number nine, 
visualize is a verb the suffix is iz e number three classify is a verb the suffix is ify addicted is an adjective the suffix is ed so please do the rest from number one to thirty and then you can discuss your answers with your friends and enjoy them another important point for you to learn is the strategy of word families this is a strategy that can help you to improve both your vocabulary knowledge and your reading comprehension ability what is the word family word families are groups of words which are related but they are different parts of a speech for example the word act is a verb actor is a noun a person who does the act action is a noun active is an adjective activate is a verb so you see act actor action active activate this is a word family of the root act and then you know that depending on what part of a speech each of them is you can use either of them in different situations so to practice word families there's a wonderful exercise on page 177 you can circle the correct word form in parentheses number one for example which kind of shows do you preference prefer preferable so you need a verb here so it could be which kinds of shows do you prefer do they decrease your ability to concentration concentrate concentrated we need a verb here too so do they decrease your ability to concentrate number two for example are you addiction addict addicted to television we need an adjective here so are you addicted to television or other visions visualize visual media we do need an adjective here visual media so you are supposed and expected to do the rest to the end of this part on page 177 and 178 this is the rest of the word families activities Please do this on page 178 from number 7 to number 10. Last one, number 10, for example, Hitchcock usually strength, strengthens, strung, the scare, scary, scared mood of his movies with frightening details. So Hitchcock usually, we need a verb. So Hitchcock usually strengthens the scare mood, the scary mood, the scared mood the scary mood the scared mood or the scared mood of his movies so it is the scary mood of his movies we need an adjective here scary mood of his movies with frightening details so please do this and discuss your answers with your friends part 4 page 180 chapter 8 focus on testing this section focuses on comparison and contrast in most academic reading tests you are expected to recognize similarities and differences in meaning between ideas opinions points of views and pairs of sentences so this section provides a chance for you to practice and enhance your reading ability by practicing comparison and contrast in order to successfully complete the exercise on page 181 to 182, read the short personal stories about the topic of this chapter's first reading, how the visual media affect people. Then try to recognize similarities and differences in meaning between the ideas, between the opinions, points of views, and pairs of sentences. Then answer the questions that follow. This is an essential skill you need to develop in order to succeed in academic context so please do the exercise on 
pages 181 to 182. Some stories are provided here for you and you're supposed to compare and contrast them and do the uh, related and following questions and items. These are the, the references which were used for this, this presentation. Thank you very much for your listening and attention. I hope you'll use it and enjoy it. Thank you.